So this dopamine deficiency concept, um, as all of you know at this point, I am conducting this long-term observational study called the MVP study. And thank you to every single person here who has participated in it. You are giving us a tremendous amount of data that we can learn from. But so far, there have been 662 people who six years ago enrolled in this study and every single year since have given us data points. So we have gotten to follow 662 people over years and see how their stories unfold. And it just so happens that 439 of those people enrolled in our study before they took any levodopa. And then we got to watch how their story changed after they started levodopa. And the thing I wanna draw your attention to here is whether somebody say their tremor was a 20 or an 80, we, we adjusted everybody to zero pre-dopamine levels for everybody have been made zero. And so what we are looking at here is every one of the symptoms below the blue zone, below the blue line was statistically significantly improved when a person started dopamine at a level of 100 milligrams three times a day equivalent, a total of 300 milligrams daily dose of levodopa. So what I want to draw your attention to is nothing got worse after and everyone's after people got on levodopa, there was no worsening of symptoms. And there was a statistically significant improvement in a lot of symptoms. Tremor is not leading the way. We think of levodopa as a way to improve our tremor, as a way to improve our slowness. But really where we see the greatest improvement, anxiety and muscle pain are the top two symptoms that improve when somebody actually puts dopamine back into their system. 